Hey everybody, this is Keith Gleason from Indie Comics Relay, back with another lettering tip video. Um, just so, as you can see on the screen, the Mighty Mascots campaign is now fulfilling. Um, I'm about a good chunk into the way into uh, shipping everything. Um, I think my last count, I think I had about 250 orders still left to fulfill. So we're we're pushing through. We're getting them out. You know, like I said, uh, 10 to 20 a week, and hopefully we can keep that momentum up, you know, um, and probably, hopefully by the end of the summer, I'll have them all out the door, you know. Um, but anyways, let's uh, get to uh, today's uh, lettering tip video. Um, I was going to do a lettering tip on what uh, they call in the industry as a squink. Um it's something that you see in comics all the time, but you might not actually know what it's called. Like I didn't know what it was called for the longest time, you know? So, um, so what that is, is um, basically when, when a character or you see it in the comic all the time, they're, they're talking like someone's in a house or something and they're, they're talking, but the image is a, an outside shot of the house and you'll see the, the, the word balloon and the tail will go into like the wall of the house and there'll be like a little starburst at the end to indicate that the sound is coming from inside the house. Um, it's you usually see, um, you know, that a lot in comics. So I, I chose, chose a page from Mighty Mascots number four that I actually did use a squink on. Um, this is the page right here. This is an establishing shot. Wacky Waffles is the new uh, headquarters of the Mighty Mascots. They they set up shop in a new in a abandoned waffle house, um, and as you can see, they're all sitting around enjoying video games. <laughs> so it's kind of a fun page um, and sort of a starting shot for the first uh, story arc back from uh, you know the new story arc, I should say. Um, so so to do a squink. Um, what I usually do is, you know, I already have the balloon made up here. Oh, and one thing I wanted to point out in this balloon, um, I, I don't know if I mentioned this in earlier videos, but I, I ended up um, bolding the, the now to give it emphasis. It's something in comics where, um, you know, you'll see, you may not notice it, but the writers and the letterers will sometimes... Uh, bold like a, a word in the sentence it's just to give that word a little more emphasis and kind of you know help give the the when you're reading it give it a little more of a strong uh, presence i guess um so i have the word balloon already made so i'm gonna probably lay it out maybe somewhere i don't know i don't want to trample on the the wacky wacky waffles logo so maybe right there to bring that to the front, you would just go object, arrange, and bring to front. And now we have it in the foreground here. So as you can see, I can see the images of the mascots right there through the window. So what I may do, uh, you know what? Let's bring it down a little lower. Uh, hang on. All right. Let's maybe like right there. I think I, I don't remember what I did for this page. It might have been up over there. But... Um, yeah, we'll just line it up here. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna just take my uh, scissor tools and create the the tail in the balloon here. So if you click there, and then maybe about you want it to be kind of yeah, about right there, and then you delete it, and then we're gonna drag. We're gonna grab the pen tool, and we're gonna create the tail by connecting. Usually when you hover over a point, there's like a slash line that shows up. And when that shows up, that means you're right on the point. So you can click it and connect the two lines. So that's what I did. And then I'm probably going to go about right here, I think. So we're going to curve it, you know, to do our normal tail. But instead of uh, connecting the other side right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a burst where the sound's coming from. So to do that, I click this to get rid of the point. And then I, and with the with the pen tool, let me go in a little closer. What you want to do is draw like a star shape. 
to just show the burst. And I go like this. It, it, and you can fix this after. You just kind of want to lay it out. And then you can fix the points after if you don't like what you see. And then maybe right there. So we get a little star burst there. Um, and then what I usually do at this point is, so we'll click there. And now we're going to create the other tail, um, you know, by going, you know, you want to bend it so that the, the tail looks proportionate. That looks pretty good. And we'll click the point off here. And then you can connect them like that. So it looks like I need to smooth that out a little bit um, as it looks like it's a little rough. And you barely can see it, but I notice it. So I always like to straighten that out. And then to, to kind of fix these curves, um, to make them a little smoother, you want to go to the round cap. And I think the what's round join, and it just kind of softens those points. Actually, wait, I wasn't clear. You got to make sure you select it first or else it won't work. So if I hit round, cap and round join. See how it softened those points a little bit. And now um, what I normally would do here is I would kind of like take the take the the white directional tool here and just kind of straighten out the points a little bit. Like this one could probably be brought down closer there where the word balloon. And then you could kind of bring these out. You kind of just want to shape it so it looks kind of looks natural, you know. It, I mean, it's more of a a preference, I think, but, but I think that looks pretty good. Like I would let that one slide, and then you know something. I may select the, the the balloon and the tool and just move it around a little bit so that it's not right on top of the silhouette. There we go. I think that's that's really good. See, and so you get the you get the the point that the sound is coming from inside the building. And that's sort of what professionals do. There's um there's a few ways to do these squinks. I, and this is the, the way I usually do it, but I've seen other others that um these lines will go into the center and then the the burst will be around them and then the center they don't connect at all. Um I guess it's just preference on what works for you, but Whenever somebody's in a building or, you know, um, a car or something like that, that's the kind of uh, tail you'd want to use um, to to um, convey that the sound's coming from that area. All right, everybody. I, I think that's it for this week's lesson. Um, we are off this Wednesday um, from the live shows. But we'll be back the following week, and then I think we'll be doing a couple weeks in a row again. Uh, just we got some few, we got a few more Indiegogos out there that are, are that need some help and some eyes on them, and we'll we'll have the creators on and interview them and uh, look at their campaigns and all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, please uh, please check us out. Um, the live streams are usually Wednesdays, every other Wednesday, or sometimes every Wednesday. Depends on our guest load. Uh, we usually do them at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, and uh, the great thing about the live streams is you can come in and kind of chat with us in real time, me and Johnny. Um, and But if you miss the live streams, they're usually on the channel uh, the next day. So you can catch the interviews there. All right, everybody, uh, have a great week, uh, and we will talk to you soon. All right.